<laughs> Easy Builder, fifty eight show lay in Palo. I picked this up at the flea market today, and supposedly there are two freaking cars in here. Yep, there, there's a windshield, but it's cracked. Yeah, this is the uh, thing, story. This is a '58 Chevrolet Impala. Um, I bought it today at the flea market. Look at that. Of course, it's not all put together. It's got open doors to it. The hood opens up. Ah, uh, too bad the trunk don't open up. Let's see here. Here. What the heck is this? Now, I'm not sure what this red bump, I mean this yellow bumper goes to. Maybe it goes to this car here. Here's another one, but look at here. This one opens up, the trunk on this one opens up. And the hood opens up, the doors opens up. There's the steering wheel. Hello, RGRC. Uh, JRG. Y'all welcome to the stream. Uh, the freaking damn door. I'm just testing. I just got out of YouTube jail and I'm just testing the live stream and opening up these uh, cars I got here today. It's like somebody painted was painting on this one right here and painting the front hood of it white and the fenders and the wheel the tires coming off the rim thanks for everybody watching that trunk does not open up crap but this one does but when I bought this I was like hoping at least there's parts in here to build at least one of these cars and uh, I don't know, we'll have to see. I see the front seat is missing on one of them. Here's the front seat to this one. Hey, Roadkill. How's it going? I'm doing great. <laughs> You're right, uh, JG. We was. Roadkill, I'm just. Opening up this uh, Easy Builder Silver Series kit. It's a 58 Chevrolet Impala. There was actually two cars in this thing when I got it. Um, it was actually supposed to have been just one, but uh, evidently not all the parts are here. To... The parts are here, so... But uh, we're going to push this aside because I got a, this is the 124 scale. We're going to push it aside here for a minute. Get Ron over here out of the way. That is a cool truck. I love that truck. I picked up two of them uh, months ago at the flea market. It's all metal. And I love that thing.
<laughs> yeah, I wish it would fly. I am down to just my uh, little tiny whoop and the uh, the POS that I have. My drones are actually not flyable now. My uh, Phantoms, that freaking wheel right there is all messed up. All right, get that out of the way. Hey guys, check this out. Check this out, guys. Look at this. Let me get all these parts out of the way. Look here, let me throw all this stuff back in the box. Cause I got this new one I want to show y'all as well. I believe y'all gonna like it. It's there. The motor, part of a motor there. <sighs> Look at this, guys. Ah, sorry about that. Look at this here. Let's take this thing out of the box. This is the 118th scale. This is the uh, 1950 Pontiac Bonneville uh, freaking convertible. Look at that. That thing is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Open doors. The hood opens up. Of course, you got the motor inside. Got four headlamps on the front. And then you got your little, I guess your, your little driving lights on the bottom here. Look at that, four tail lamps in the back and your reverse lamps down here. Too bad that the trunk don't open up. That would have been awesome. Thank you, sorry I hit my camera. But look at this, look at this interior. That is just so awesome. Had the old crank up windows and all. But look at this. The uh, the seats, they fold up. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, it would look good on a Traxxas frame. It would look good buzzing down the highway, wouldn't it? But uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this thing. Since it is on the base, look at this, four headlamps. Since I did a video this morning of some uh, LEDs I got in, I'm going to open this thing up. I'm gonna light up these headlamps, these driving lights. Probably just put ambers in here and turn these things into blinkers. And I'm gonna light up the tail lamps as well. That's gonna be cool. Put a uh, off and on switch here on the base to control it. Right now, this one, I mean, I like this. I like the Chevelle. I like the, uh, I like the Impala. I'm still working on this Impala here. I've got this thing totally taken apart. Um, ready to uh, put the LEDs in it. And this one, the trunk does open up on it. And this was a solid metal here, and I cut that out to put the battery in there because I'm going to light this thing up as well. Put the tail lamps in there and I'm gonna put the headlamps in it. The hood on this one raises up. But if you hadn't seen the uh, the video earlier, here's the uh, the SS Camaro. This is the wide body. This thing is a beautiful car. The trunk opens up on it. The only thing I don't like about it is this tail fin. I'm going to pull that off. Just get rid of that thing all together. Get it to focus in. And the doors do open up on this. It has a chrome uh, gear shifter. has a chrome uh, steering wheel. Brake and clutch pedal are chromed. That is so cool.
But guys, like I said, I was just testing out this stream, see how it was, how it's doing. Hope y'all can hear me good. Hope the video is good. My freaking camera keeps falling over. Sorry about that. But yeah, I'm really excited about this Pontiac Bonnie Bill. Yeah, I, I've got so many. I was telling a guy this morning in uh, Atlanta, I've got so many projects that I've started that I haven't completed the first one hardly yet, except for two over there. But I've got so many started here, and I find more stuff to start. I still got the uh, this is the Dodge Charger. I've got it taken apart. I'm gonna put uh, police strobes in it. I'm gonna turn this into a uh, a police car. <laughs> yeah, I've got other than this, other than the uh, the diecast and the RC projects. I got a lot of projects around the house I need to be doing, and I haven't done it yet. But uh, look at this car here. I'm gonna. I'm still not finished with this one. I'm gonna go back and add more lights to this thing. Check that out. I got the uh, the Rugwag uh, headlamps, the blue and the red uh, flashers, right there and right here also. I got the tail lamps flashing. Of course, these are blue and red uh, strobes up here. You might not can tell it in the camera so much. Yeah, right there you can. The only thing I don't like about this one, this one doesn't, the freaking back gate don't open up. And of course, I got the white strobes right there as well. Cover that up, see if y'all can see it. The white. And of course, I got a little work light in there right over the laptop. So I'm planning on taking this back apart and adding more, a couple of blues across the, the visor here. Hey, Prop Gear, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. So that's, that's got to be done. This has got to be started on and done. Um, that's got to be finished. This is just the uh, Ford. This is the Ford Explorer. Open doors, and I believe the hood. Now, I thought the hood opened up on this one, but it, I guess it don't. Yeah, I'm still looking for a uh, a new Suburban, uh, crap on the camera, sorry about that, a new Suburban die cast, Chevrolet die cast. I prefer to have black, and I, not even, I haven't even found one online yet. I'm not even sure if, they, if they're making them. But I just love this Bonnie Bell, and this door is opens up wide on this thing. I mean, how cool is that? Even with the, the folding seats. This thing was new in the box and I see that it's missing the antenna. So I'll have to find an antenna to put that in and just so happened I got in a shipment of antennas uh, yesterday for diecast so I can put one there. I 
All right, thanks for dropping in. Yeah, thanks, Prop Gear. They, uh, there was two of them, and I bought this one. There was a uh, another one. It was a, it was a, a, a Bel Air. I should have bought it. It was a red Bel Air. It had the bench seat, and the only reason I bought this was because it had the bucket seats that raised up, and the uh, the bench seat didn't do that. And that's why I just went ahead and bought this one here. Oh, really, JG? I have a couple of them at my mom's house, and I'm not sure what's all up there. It's been up there for 30-something years. I know I have an RC up there, a truck. One of those old ones that you get from the Radio Shack. There's uh, Lankins, and uh, I need to go up there and get that out of her attic. Because it's been up there for 30 years, I know, at least. Well, somebody definitely painted this, the front end on this thing here. They had it taken apart. They put it back together because they even sprayed the under the hood white. Maybe out of the two cars that come in that box, I can get this one uh, totally put together. See this side, this door is missing its whole door panel. But maybe it's in that box. Maybe it's in that box. Look at that. The window frame is even broke on it. I might have to put this over on the shelf and let this be a back burner project. Because there's just too much stuff wrong with this thing here. But I'm definitely excited to get started on this Pontiac Bonneville. Put the headlamps in it, the tail lamps. I think it's going to look cool. Anybody flying today or driving your RC cars? I didn't get the Bigfoot out and take the Bigfoot and I built me a ramp the other day out of cardboard and and when I tried it it was just freaking too dark and I didn't do too well. <laughs> Even though I got headlamps on the, the Bigfoot, it was still a little too dark to to see where the ramp was at. Hey James, welcome to the uh welcome to the stream. I have another one that I'm gonna start building here pretty soon, and it's a it's a black and white one. I don't like white vehicles, and I even told the guy when I bought this body build I didn't like white, but I bought it anyway. But uh, I am going to uh, this one here. I'm gonna paint it blue and silver. I don't like the white. I'm gonna paint this blue and silver. Uh, I'm gonna put my decals on it. I'm gonna turn this into my uh, Georgia State Patrol SUV. So hopefully that'll that paint will come out pretty good. I bought some more paint this morning or today. I'm gonna paint it blue. I'm gonna paint it with the uh, this is acrylic blue metallic paint. That's what I'm gonna paint it with. I picked up three bottles of this at Hobby Lobby's. Uh, James, I do too, but this was the, uh, I had the RC Batmobile. 
I picked this up at the flea market. There was no remote control. Um, you put in AA batteries. There was no remote control. But I bought it because it was freaking cool. I even have Batman. And I had the original Robin. And he fell behind the bookshelf. I got to dig him out. And I had the original Joker as well. This is the original Batman. This is the Adam West Batman. And this is the original Joker. I can't think of what that guy's name that played the Joker. All right, buddy, thank you for dropping in. Yep, yeah, that's the Batmobile. And see, the only thing it is, other than there's no remote to it, is that it's missing the uh, the little, little red light up here on the top. And I've even, actually even thought about putting one in there, but a real one, working one, but maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just leave it like it is. And I saw these at uh, Hobby Lobby. These things are high. Uh, even just for the die cast, the, the die that are this size with the Batman and Robin figure, uh, they're pretty high. Thanks, I'll see you, I don't know if you come in, you saw the, the Camaro SS. Can't wait to get it started on this thing. Definitely do not like that big old spoiler on the back. Looks like one of those little freaking Mexican cars. <laughs> I'm going to take that thing off. That is just, just too ugly. So what's everybody doing today? It's a Saturday day. It's hot. It's supposed to be freaking uh, fall now but it's freaking 93 degrees today here in North Georgia day off chilling I'll see you back yeah me too I went to Atlanta earlier this morning which is about an hour and a half away and so I'm back home now just chilling open up I open up this box here and another uh, one that I got today, this uh, 58 Chevrolet Impala, which was actually two cars in the box. And hopefully there's going to be enough parts for just to at least build one of them that's in there. I didn't realize these 118 scales was that actually that big. I mean, look at that compared to this 124. If my camera will freaking sit still. <laughs> now it doesn't want to focus in. There we go. No, I don't have the uh, the Knight Rider car. I started to get that one the other day, but I, I didn't. And I actually saw the uh, the little red light that goes back and forth on it. I actually had one back 
uh, 15 years ago, I put one on my uh, 79 uh, black Camaro that I had, which was awesome. <laughs> but uh, I also found one that uh, that uh, little light kit, that little red light that goes back and forth light kit that you can put on the front of your die cast cars or RC cars. And I'm thinking about getting one and putting it in one of my uh, police RCs and uh, or just even using the uh, control board off of it. Yeah, the Starsky and Hutch car. I saw that at uh, at Hobby Lobby. I think it was like thirty bucks. I had the little Hot Wheels car when I was a kid for it, and it's my mom's attic as well, along with all my other little RC cars, Hot Wheels cars, and like I said, my RC uh, monster truck that's in there for thirty years now. I need to go and get it. I really do. I need to call her and say, "Look, mom, I need to come and get that." All right, guys. I hate to make this so short, but uh, you have a you have a Hot Wheels kit. <laughs> Hold on one second, guys. Let me send this freaking message. Doug Paul, maybe he'll come in the stream. You gonna do your RC bikes and those lights? Yeah, uh, if y'all saw my video earlier that I posted this morning, I have got the freaking a lot of LEDs in. I have got a lot of LED cars in. Uh, these are all uh, flash of strobes, mostly red and blues, blues and reds. Uh, I think there's a white strobe in here as well. Hardcastle McCormick, very cool. So I'm going to be adding, I've got enough of lights to do a lot of these RC, uh, well, these die cast cars that I, projects that I want to do. See, there's my blue. There's my blue that I'm going to add to the, uh, that car there. It's mainly going to be all blue uh, strobes. Maybe a couple of white strobes and maybe one or two red strobes, but uh, mainly it's going to be all blues. Yeah, prop gear. That'll be cool to see. Hey, Doug, welcome to the stream. I was just showing off uh, the, uh, I unboxed the, uh, the Pontiac Bonneville that I showed you, I sent you a picture of earlier, Doug. And it's on this base here. Check out this, the hood opens up. And my, I, my freaking camera will not stay straight. But, uh, Doug, this, uh, look how these doors, why these doors opens up on this car. Look here, the, uh, the bucket seats, they raise up. I mean, that is so cool. Doug, I was telling everybody that, uh, earlier in the stream that I'm going to add, uh, the headlamps to this thing and then of course I'm going to add the the tail lamps and uh, all my projects that I do before I even halfway finish them I always send Doug Paulson either a picture or a little short video of it <laughs> and I'll just till I finish it and then send you 
a picture or a video of it though. Yeah, I've got I gotta get these freaking LEDs in order so I know what's what. And I'm about to order some more LEDs tonight, Doug. So they'll probably be in sometime, let's see, about Thursday. Yeah, faces, uh, faces Corvette on the 18. Yeah. I like that Corvette. I haven't seen one. I've seen the 18 band, but I haven't seen that Corvette. So evidently that car wasn't that really popular for the show for them to actually put one out. Even though they have the, uh, the, uh, the Jeep of Daisy, Duke's Jeep of Duke's of Hazard, to have it out. The 18 van, yeah, would be cool. <clears throat> And I actually saw it. I think they have it at Hobby Lobby's also. I think I saw that last night when I was at Hobby Lobby's. I went up there after work right quick over to Carolina. And uh, I believe they have it over there as well. This whole car is, is pretty much metal. But the only thing I didn't like about it, and I just realized it a while ago, that these side mirrors on this car are rubber. Now, they could at least make them metal as well. Doug, they just opened up a new Hobby Lobby here in Athens. Uh, I was there today. I went to the old Hobby Lobby, which I thought was open. And there was a big sign that says, hey, we've moved. And all. So I had to go and find it, location. And they actually built a freaking new building, bigger building. And uh, the Hobby Lobby was in there. And, uh, and it was awesome. But yeah, Hobby Lobby's got some cool stuff. And Doug, you know, this this truck that I have, you know, that I bought two of these things at the flea market, Hobby Lobby actually has some, some of these cars. And these particular Hobby Lobby's, I haven't seen this truck. But they have these particular cars, and this 10 metal frame cars. You can buy them, you can buy them there at Hobby Lobby's. Hobby Lobby should have an online store. I mean, they're they're a big chain. They should have a online. I mean, they have all kinds of freaking high dollar house decor stuff and and whatnot, and crafts and art and paints and for uh, canvases, paints for uh, models, whatever. The Fall Guys truck, yeah, that was a bad truck. There, that was a great show as well. Simon Simon's Dodge truck from the show. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool if they uh if they actually had one. I'm not sure if they do or not. Walker Texas Rangers truck, nah, it was the truck I liked the truck better than I did him. I never did really like Texas Walker. He was okay, but he was just the same old thing. He he beat everybody up all the time. <laughs> uh but it it was okay show. I'd rather have the A-Team over Texas Walker any day. The two trucks from the show, other show called The Highway Man. Hmm. I'm not familiar with those trucks there. I know the show you're talking about, but I'm not familiar with the trucks. It's been so long. Tell you what I want to do, guys. Check out this Corvette. 
this is my uh, my new bright Corvette that uh, the tank RC is trying to get off of me and I'm just not quite ready to let it go yet but I uh, move this into the side I got this thing with no remote uh, no battery I did put a battery in it from another new bright um, the DeLorean uh, from Back to the Future they had that at uh, Hobby Lobby but I want to at least once put this body on the freaking Bigfoot uh, truck, the, uh, the Stampede chassis and see how it would do. Daisy Duke's yellow car. I, yeah, I love that car. I was, I don't know why they in the show they had to destroy that car. Run, Bow and Luke ran it off the cliff. Yeah, I, li I don't like green, but I like the green on this car. But I wish I could find a chassis or just take all these, the motor out of this thing and put new motors in this thing and uh, make this thing into a screamer with a good remote and all. That would be, and I think that's what our Tank RC is wanting to do with it. But that's why he wanted it. So he could uh, put it back on the freaking road. That's what I need to do myself with it. The Green Hornet's car. <laughs> Yeah, that was a bad car, the Green Hornet's car. I haven't seen I haven't seen one of those anywhere, not even online. I'm not even sure if they make those. Yeah, Doug, the Camaro is sweet. I, like I said, I told you before, I said earlier in this live stream, I hate this freaking black spoiler on the back. It just, to me, it just makes it look ugly. Yeah, that picture of the Iron Man, that is awesome. I'm... I come very close to ordering that thing last week, but uh, I already had, uh, I just had spent $100 uh, buying stuff online, and uh, I was like, I'll just wait. But yeah, definitely that Iron Man car, uh, if it's still available, maybe a couple weeks or next month, I may get it. I mean, I could have got it today or last night, but I just, I got, I need to slow down on my spending because I got too much money that I've done a spin already. I have to go back. A lot of those, those sites that you sent me, I saved onto my phone. I have to go back and look and see if, uh, see if uh they're on there on my on my desktop on my phone doug i have so many projects like i was telling the guys earlier i have so many projects that i have started and ain't even finished them yet and that's why i was telling the guy this morning that i bought this uh the bonnie uh the pontiac bonneville from i tell him i said i have so many projects sitting on my desk at the house table and I said I haven't even halfway finished any of them all right James you're leaving thank you for dropping in classic muscle cars yeah they are the best they don't make cars like they used to now they're all plastic and fiberglass and and putty made the best cars is when they was made of real metal Back in the day, you didn't have to have an airbag. Been working on the trailer for the landlord. You about got it done, Doug? Yeah, you know, the other day when we was doing the live feed, Doug, 
I was showing you back here behind the landlord's house, all that clearing out they're doing. They're still doing more. I seen a bulldozer come around the front of my house earlier on the camera, come up here on my car shelter and steal my freaking eight inch concrete blocks. And I went out there, I was like, hey, what's going on? He said, we just getting these blocks. I'm like, well, don't get them all. <laughs> So I had to go back out and hide two of them so they wouldn't get it. Just putting pain. I'm putting a new tub in the bathroom. When you get done with that, you can come down here and work on my place. I don't know if the landlord will pay you or not, but you can come down here and work on it anyway. <laughs> he might pay you. Keep him from having to do it himself. Well, he don't do it himself. He'll get somebody else to do it. I've got a couple of things here at the house I need to to fix. And all I got a couple of holes that needs patching. And a couple of little things, just minor stuff that needs to be done. I was telling the guys earlier must be fall, but it was 93 degrees down here today, Doug. Now don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the, the dislike button if you don't mind. It don't matter to me. Still showing that you watched it, but hit that like button, guys. On your way in or way out. Seventy three right now. It was seventy when I went to Atlanta this morning. It was seventy. Uh, oh, seventy something. Anyway, it was, but it it was still a little cooler than what it usually is about that when it's around that eight uh, range. I had to let up my windows in the car going down the road. And usually around you seventy five degrees. It's still hot out, ah, but it was just. I think it was 76 degrees, but it was just still too cool this morning. And my freaking voice is going down. All right. Uh, I won't, I won't. Was it muggy? No, it wasn't muggy. But I got up this morning and looked out the window, the door at 7. And it was, uh, it was a clear day. But then when I left, ended up leaving it till 8 o'clock, excuse me, 8 o'clock, it was foggy. I mean, the fog had, had just settled up. It was maybe 10 foot up off the ground, but it's still foggy in some places. So. I was telling the guys, I was just testing out this live stream to see how it's doing. I'm not even sure how the video or the sound is. And I know my voice is getting hoarse. But, you know, I just got out of uh, YouTube jail last week and started on here for a second and just try to uh, see if it'll stream. Didn't even expect nobody to come in. And a few people came in. Thank you all for did. I'm going to go ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Doug, call me if you if you bored, ain't got nothing to do. Call me and we'll chat or give me a video call or whatever, it doesn't matter. But uh Yeah, maybe code here and, and there. Yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut this stream short and go ahead and get something to drink and uh I think my phone needs plugging in. I have to look at it. But anyway, thank you guys for dropping in. For this little test stream, and uh, I'm gonna be doing some more videos soon and uh, live streams anyway. So, I hope y'all having a great evening and uh, a strong life. RC, and guys, I'm out of here.